Hey Lisa, Jeremy here with the video I promised you showing you how you can beat out your competition on Google. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the three main things that you can do yourself that will actually outrank your competition if done right, okay? So those three things are content, backlinks, and citations. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is content. Um, Google likes to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on the homepage of a site and about 500 to 750 on each service page. Let's kind of take a look at the, the site that I have for you here, um, which is a, a dot business site, which means that you did you you basically went to uh, to Google the, the Google My Business listing and you you went ahead with their free website builder to build this. Um, those don't rank ever. OK, those are basically just a, they're kind of like a placeholder until you get a real site. OK, um, these sites just don't rank. OK. Um, and uh, there, there's actually no no content on here. Um, anybody can build one of these. So th this doesn't this doesn't inspire a lot of confidence in your in your customer. Okay, when they see this as your as your website. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at your backlinks. So looking at your backlinks, uh, we're looking at your URL rating and your and your domain rating. Well, these are a little off because of this dot business dot site. Um, this site right here, Arefs, they always mess up with these business sites. Because this business site is connected to Google, it's part of Google, um, so of course it gets really high uh, high metrics here, which passes the metric down to here. You you really don't have this, okay? Um, because you have no backlinks, no referring domains. You've got a few keywords, but you're not getting any traffic. Your website is like a billboard on the moon, okay? You're really getting nothing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at your competitor, okay? So to find your competitor, I searched up Smoke Shops Indianapolis which gets, uh, I think it's around 350 searches a month. It's, it's quite a good keyword. Um, so, and it's the best keyword for for smoke and vape shops in the Indianapolis area, okay? So first thing, no, sometimes you see the ads. In this case, we're not seeing any ads. Um, then you see the map pack, which is really important because because nowadays, now with that new law that came out, um, you, you, you have to actually go to a store rather than order it online. Um, I'm not sure if that's changed recently or not, but I know about two or three months ago they came out with a law that you couldn't ship um, ship this stuff o online anymore. Uh, certain stuff like uh, like vape juice and, and CBD oil and stuff. So um, it was like a real damper to the industry. So now then you're going to see the um, the organic listing. So the first thing we're going to see is a couple. Of, uh, well, we see right now we see a couple of directory listings for Yelp. OK, um, but the, Yelp can be beat. They're actually not that hard to beat. OK, um, so then we see the, the the actual companies that are that are the top uh, the top people here. OK, so headline smokes seems to be the top uh, the, the top competitor in this area right now. So let's go ahead and check them out and see what they're doing. OK, so first thing I see right here is their phone number is not click to call. So the, that makes it that means it's not completely mobile friendly. OK, um, and as far as content goes, they have almost none on this home page. OK, um, this is set up more like an e-commerce site um, for their certain uh, glass products and stuff. OK, so um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at their uh, backlink profile. OK, so they've got a URL rating of 25. They've got a domain rating of only 0.2. This right tell this right here makes me wonder why they deserve to be first on this page. OK, what this tells me is that nobody else in the area is trying at all. OK, to, to, to beat them. Um, so they're just getting lucky and they got that first page because they got, you know, they, they, they ran into a little bit of luck. OK, so um, so that means they're, they're not going to be that hard to beat. OK, so they've got 681 backlinks. They've got just over a thousand keywords. They're getting over 500 traffic to their to their website every month. OK, um, and I'm sure a lot of those are turning into customers. So um, so what we like to do is we like to go into their backlinks um, and we're going to export this entire list because if Google's telling us they're number one. We're just going to copy everything they're doing and we're going to put it on uh, and we're going to uh, put those same backlinks to uh, to you. OK, um, we're going to export it and we're going to go through them one by one and then we're going to go find 50 to 100 more. That way, instead of you having that DR point two, you have a much higher DR uh, domain rating than that. OK, so um, so that's pretty much our strategy in a nutshell for that. So the last thing I want to talk to you about is I'm going to talk to you about this map pack. OK, and this is where citations come into play. Because this actually does have a ranking factor. 
Um, if you don't have one of these yet, uh, make sure you go to business.google.com and sign up. Uh, fill out your profile all the way. Uh, make sure you're adding pictures. Um, speaking of pictures, so we're going to go and see and check out some of their pictures real quick just to see what they're, uh, see if they're doing it right. Okay. So I've actually already found one where they're doing it wrong. I had to actually go into the links to find it. So, um, so we go in here and I click this and hit save image. So you see this right here, all this number, letter, big string of nothing. Google reads this. Okay. So if you're naming your pictures correctly and you're naming them with keywords, Google will actually read the keyword and, and help you rank for that keyword. Okay. And you want to do that for all your pictures. So if you've got a whole bunch of products in your site, like they do, um, you want, you definitely want to rank, uh, uh name on all your products with an actual keyword that you're wanting to get found for. Okay. Um, so, and last thing is we want to talk about, uh, citations. Okay. Well, I guess that this is where citations come play and I saved the best for last because it's the most important. Okay. So citations are basically a phone book directory listing and there's thousands of these out there like yellow pages, super pages, yp.com, very, very similar to backlinks, um, quality matters. Um, the difference between them and backlinks is the, these depend more on the phone number, whereas backlinks depend more on the, on the link back to your site. Okay. So, um, so as long as it's got a phone number, it can double up as a citation. Uh, so sometimes they're both a backlink and a citation. Okay. So you want at least a couple hundred of these, um, and good quality ones to get you at the top of this map pack, or at least in this top three, these coveted three right here. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this overview. Um, I would appreciate it if you gave me some feedback by either replying to this email or giving me a call on the number. Um, if you'd like to talk more about your business and, 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 uh, you know, see what we can do for you and schedule a call with me, just go ahead and click the link at the bottom of the email for the discovery call, um, and schedule it at, at your convenience. All right. Well, with that, uh, I'll go ahead and sign off and you guys have a great day.